The disagreement between Awolowo and Akintola on how to run the Western region government led to a political crisis in the West. The brutal violence that was unleashed by both sides against one another led directly to the first military coup of January 15, 1966, which in turn led to the second coup of July 29, 1966, to the shocking pogroms and mass killing of Igbo in the north and ultimately to the Nigerian civil war. Chief Obafemi Awolowo was the first premier of the West. He was very stubborn, aggressive, very hardworking, a visionary leader, but never understood real politics at any time. He believed that book knowledge was so important. Akintola, a trained lawyer in the United Kingdom, understood the fragmented nature of Nigeria for you not to have allies. Chief Akintola, together with other educated Nigerians from the West, formed the Action Group Party under the leadership of Awolowo. He took the position of deputy leader of the party and was the deputy parliamentary leader and leader of opposition in Nigerian House of Representatives. The battle for supremacy and different interests for strategic alliance in the party led to the disagreement between Awolowo and Akintola. Akintola disagreed with Awolowo's decision not to join the coalition government. Akintola felt the Yoruba people of the West were losing their preeminent position in business and administration to the Igbo people of the East simply because the Igbo controlled NCNC had joined the government and the action group had not. He also opposed the party's ideology, preferring a more conservative stand. The crisis all began when Obafemi Awolowo gave up his post as the Premier of the West without advice to contest for federal election to become the Prime Minister of Nigeria. With no alliance, Awolowo lost the election and settled as the leader of the opposition in the federal parliament. The premiership mantle was handed over to Akintola, but Awolowo retained his post as the leader of Action Group. Akintola did not agree with Awolowo's decision to remain the leader of the party, and this brought about division of interest and royalty in the Action Group. A faction of Action Group pledged royalty to Awolowo, while another supported Samuel Akintola. In May 1962, the Western House of Assembly moved to remove Akintola as Premier, after the Action Group passed a vote of no confidence on Akintola. The then Governor of Western Region, Sir Adesoji Aderemi, who was also the owner of Ife, demanded Akintola's resignation as Premier and named Alaj Dauda as his successor. This caused serious unrest in Western Region, which led to the federal government, headed by the Prime Minister Abu Bakatafala Belewa, to declare a state of emergency in the West and appointed Chief M.A. Maje Kodumi, the Federal Minister of Health, as administrator. This marked the first time in history of Nigeria that a state of emergency would be employed to curb violence. Political opponents were set ablaze, hundreds of houses and vehicles were razed. The whole of Western region was thrown into a state of anarchy. On 31st December 1962, with the help of Amadou Bello, who was the Premier of Northern region, Chief Akintola was brought back to power as Premier of Western Region, even after losing legal battle in court. Akintola soon broke away from Action Group and formed an alliance with the Northern People's Congress and other political parties in the West, North and the Niger Delta region, to create his own political party, named the Nigerian National Alliance, which went on to win a controversial regional election in the year 1965. The election was massively rigged which resulted to an unprecedented violence in the western region of Nigeria. People were killed daily and countless of properties were lost. Chief Obafemi Awolowo was arrested and jailed for treason. According to the coup plotters of January 15, 1966, the crisis in the west, together with the corruption in the civilian government, was one of the main reasons why they struck. The coup of January 15, 1966, also known as the Nzogu coup, led to the counter coup of July 29, 1966 to the mass killing of Igbo in the north and ultimately to the Nigerian civil war. <laughs>